I think it's critically important, probably the most important thing for um, staff to find a mentor. And it could be their supervisor. It could be uh, someone else in the department. It could be someone else at the institution who they admire and respect and who they could learn and grow from. So that's uh, what I encourage my staff to do. And it could be an informal or formal mentoring program. And at Harvard, we're, we're fortunate to have um, a, a formal mentoring program. Uh, also, in Cura, our Region 1 organization offers a mentoring program. And that gives you an opportunity to interact with uh, an individual, senior, more experienced person at another institution. But above all, what I would like uh, the staff to do is to show some initiative. And again, in, uh, when you're dealing with a younger staff, and we have a very young group in my office, uh, sometimes they're not linking the um, uh, performance to experience, and they're looking for promotional opportunities before they've actually uh, acquired the skills necessary to do a great job. So uh, sometimes in the lower level positions, entry-level jobs, you are very limited in the responsibilities you have. So I encourage staff to you know, sort of look outside the boundaries of their job description and find ways to acquire different experiences, different skills, uh, not necessarily courses. We have a um, vast array of courses, um, both in the Boston area and at Harvard, that they could take advantage of that are relatively uh, cost-effective. But um, it could be shadowing someone. Just showing an initiative, and uh, it's it's incumbent on the manager to develop staff, but I would say it's equally incumbent on the staff to sort of uh, reach out and find those things, uh, mentor, additional experience, uh, courses that are going to give them the uh, experience and qualifications to excel. Uh, 